this is such a dumb idea. I'm gonna make a hovercraft that I can ride. So there are two main types of hovercrafts. Um, you got the kind with just a skirt and a huge um, pressure area underneath, and then the kind that kind of has an inflatable skirt with a pressure area in the middle and air escaping underneath the inflate, inflated areas. This first type is the follow-up to the original hovercraft, which is literally just a platform with air blown underneath it through some large ducts and fans that would create a layer of air, and it would just kind of hover a few inches or a few feet off the ground. And it was really unstable, caused a lot of issues, and was hard to control. When they added this skirt, though, this is a cross-section, by the way. When they added this skirt, it allowed for the air to not escape as easy, and you could build a nice high-pressure pocket of air underneath and just have it escape just under the edges of the skirt. And that made a lot smoother ride. They could go over rougher water and rougher ground and um, not have to use as powerful of a fan as well. Um, the other type is basically the same thing except the skirt is more like a half donut on, um, attached to the bottom. And this inflates as well. It inflates you know, similar to like a, a bounce house would. And, uh, but it has holes in the bottom that kind of point inwards to this hollowed out area in the middle. And the, pressure, the high pressure happens inside the skirt, inside the middle of the craft, and then escapes underneath the um, inflated sections of the skirt. And this is the section I'm going to make, um, my crudely drawn kind of design that I have in my head, that, where, the way it should work. Uh, I'm using my, my leaf blower here, and um, I already kind of have it sort of put together the way I want to do it. I'm going to have this in the middle and have um, air ducts that go out into the side and go into each side of the donut to hopefully give me some uh, some good air, even air, throw, air, air flow throughout the whole thing. A gas leaf blower there, usually centrifugal fans, would probably work better, um, but mine got stolen. <laughs> so that's why I bought this nice electric one last year. Um, but we're gonna try, it's really strong. I did a couple tests with a trash bag wrapped over it and it was able to kind of push me off the ground. So it can inflate really well, really well. Uh, we'll see when I make a big hovercraft, if it can lift the craft in myself though. Um, I'm really hopeful. I'm really excited to try this, so let's get building. The reason I'm rounding all this out is because um, I'm going to wrap plastic over this and I don't want any sharp edges that will cut the plastic. No sharp edges. Make sure I got any final burrs off here that'll rip or tear the plastic. Ellie, what are you doing? Just chilling? Or you want your belly put? Oh, your favorite foot pets. I'll be back. Two. I guess this doesn't need to be exactly perfect, but I want to get it as close as possible. What I'm doing is I want to figure out where my centerpiece is going to go that's going to hold the plastic up inside there and make that cavity. Um, I'm doing it on the side it's not going to be on. It's going to be on the other side, but I'm going to be drilling holes on this side for these. This is going to be my, my air intake, um, and I want it centered in the middle on each side so I can get even airflow throughout the entire thing. So just making a bunch of lines to make sure I have a good grid down and know that everything's correct. This doesn't look square though. I don't think it is. It's just gotta be close. I can't find my speed square. It's obnoxious. And I probably have like five of them and I can't find one. That's just how it always goes. This one will be. So we're actually... Okay, I was wrong, we're dead on. Cool. I'm gonna just go eight inches in. Over here. 
there. Okay. My two spots. Sweet. Sweet. I've got a four and a quarter inch hole. I actually just realized that this piece is the part that I want to kind of fit down in the hole because this will come up from underneath. This half inch plywood, I want this to kind of slide down in and almost go flush with that down inside there. So I actually need to measure this piece. So four and a half, so. Nice. If I need to trim that up at all. Nope. Perfect. So this piece, boom, just like that. Easy peasy. I love working with pipes because nothing has to be exactly perfect. Booyah. That's the bottom. I'm gonna flip this and kind of staple it all down, get it all shaped the way I want. And then flip it back over and put the little holes in it that I need to get the my air cushion going. And then we're kind of done. We can test it and see if it works. All right, my little tree is gonna get started. I'm gonna start right here on the straight edge. All right. come through and run a bead of caulk underneath this after and then screw some boards down on top of it. I want to fold it to where the fold is this way so that it doesn't catch on things. I'm going to switch directions. Okay, not the prettiest. It works. Cut off the excess. And I gotta seal this edge really good. Even enough. We got all our caulk on there. It's nice and sealed. Now we nail it in. I'm putting tape kind of around where the holes are going to be so it won't tear as easy. Not the prettiest tape job, but it'll do. So I'm going to put some holes in it. And um, they weren't ready to test it. Okay, so I have the holes marked about where I want. And I'm going to try this uh, sharpened pipe to cut these holes. Oh, that's perfect. It just kind of melts through. Then I can. Now it actually seals the tape really good to that edge, too. Okay, hover test, no weight. Kind of worked. 
not enough air escaping. Any more holes? Holy cow, that actually worked. Okay, let's do a test with me on it and see what happens. Just to see. That's awesome. Put some more holes in it so let's see if it hovers better and I can get more airflow. Okay, I'm just gonna stay on my knees right here. Yeah, it hovers. I almost went off the table. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't work super great you can see there's a lot of friction on the front where it gets dirty not very much here there's too much air coming out the side i probably should have made it round and uh, my fan's just barely not powerful enough to make it work really good. But we're going to try in a few flatter, smoother spots than just the street. It might work better. <laughs> That's too steep, man. <laughs> Well, we got to go with the tape, do some repairs. <laughs> the slide stop kind of uh, rips some holes in the plastic got on the wood and just melted right through it. So we'll go fix that and then we'll go try it on the water. Good as new. <laughs> Not really. See any major holes? I think we've patched all the major ones. Okay, let's go sink it. So it worked really, really well. It just, not as well as I hoped. You can see there's 
Didn't get a good seal on the edges. I should have made it round. A couple things that just went wrong. It, it, the skirt was just garbage, ripped up instantly almost, as soon as it hit any sort of rock or pebble. Works great on water. Um, it works more like a raft than a hovercraft on water though. It's just only floating because it's full of air. I think if I do this again, if I do an update, I'm gonna do a different skirt material and a better fan and a better shape and uh, and then put some propulsion on it and a, and a rudder so I can actually make it drivable. Right now we only had to, we just had to find hills and go on that. Anyway, this was fun. It took me three weeks to make this because I didn't have a ton of time because I had a lot of other stuff going on. I do think I'm gonna make more videos though, so go ahead and subscribe and like and um, see the rest of the stuff I'm gonna make.